Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I don't have too many products just because I haven't bought that much in the month of February, but I do have a couple of makeup products, hair products, um, and a couple like fashion-y sort of things. So if you'd like to see what I've been loving in the month of February, let's get started. First we'll start with makeup and I'm going to start with my favorite thing for this month. This is the Meat Matrimony Matte Eyeshadow Palette from The Bomb. Um, I'm sure you all know what it looks like. It's just all these gorgeous matte shades. I have been loving this. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. I ordered it online for myself when the bomb was having that 50% off sale. Um, and I've been using it like every single day since I got it. It's what I have on my eyes today, if you can see that. And these are just gorgeous, gorgeous matte shades. I noticed in a lot of my palettes, I love shimmer shades. That's normally what I put on my lid, but almost all the palettes I have are like all shimmer. Um, I do have the Chocolate Bar palette, I do have the Sweet Peach palette, but I don't know, I've just been wanting, like, just some really good, like, an all-matte palette that I can use in conjunction with other palettes, too. Um, and then on its own, I feel like it looks so gorgeous on its own, I almost never do an all-matte eye look. But that's what I've been doing for the past, like, week, so that's what I have on today. I had a really, really nice, um, like, purple, red, smoky eye yesterday, and I think it came out really nice. Um, so maybe I'll do a tutorial with this palette soon, but I have just been loving it. Um, it's expensive, so that's why I bought it when it was on the 50% off sale. And I feel like the 50% off price, it was like 22 plus like $5 shipping. That's definitely worth it versus the 42 I love this palette, but 42 is a lot, um, but I, I really like it. And I think it's nice for travel too. It's like cardboard and just slim and I don't know, I really, really love this palette. Okay, next I'm going to talk about something, I, I've used this in tutorials before, but I don't think I've explicitly talked about it. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer, if you can see that. I, I don't remember if I've talked about it, but this is just the best. The wand looks like this, so the wand isn't the best just because it's a little bit wide and my eyebrows aren't super, super thick. But this is just, this is definitely... I think I might like this better than the Benefit Gimme Brow, and it's like $10, and the Benefit Gimme Brow is $24, and you get way more product in it, and I don't know, it just does the same thing as the Benefit Gimme Brow, it fills in with the little fibers, but like I don't have any eye pencil or pomade or anything else in my brows today, and I feel like they look full and nice, and I don't know, it's because of this Maybelline, and I there's not a lot of Maybelline products that I love. Um, I feel like it's always really hit or miss with the things that I've bought from that brand, but this is like the biggest hit ever. I feel like I will repurchase this again and again and again. Okay, this is another thing I definitely used in tutorials, but I don't know if I've explicitly talked about. Ever since I've been using that, the Bomb eyeshadow palette, um, I have really bad creases on my eyes. Like when I wear eyeshadow, I crease so, so easily. It's just the way my eyes are shaped and plus I have oily skin, so it's terrible. My friend got me this like over a year ago. It's probably expired, but it still works fine. Um, this is Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This stuff is amazing. My eyes do not crease at all, all day from when I wait, put this on in the morning when I go to work um, at like seven in the morning until I get home at like five o'clock at night and it's last and it still looks beautiful. So this is pricey for such a, I mean, you do get a lot of product. I've had this for over a year. I got this Christmas 2015 and I wear eyeshadow like a pretty good amount and I, I saw that much so a little, tiny tiny bit goes a long way you can just use the slightest amount put it all over your lid um but this is just amazing it, it really really works so it's definitely worth the money I haven't tried any drugstore dupes that I've heard of just because I've been using this and I feel like you don't need multiple eyeshadow primers um but maybe I will find a drugstore version but for now this is just so amazing that I like I don't want to try anything else because I'm afraid it's not going to be as good as this all right this is something else I picked up in the month of February this is the uh, Soap and Glory Wonder Bronze, and it says it's a blush brick. I mean, I'm way too pale for this to be blushed. This is a bronzer on me. Um, not even a bronzer, but like a bronzer topper. If you can see, see it's very bronze, but it's not, it's very like warm and shimmery, so I don't usually use it alone. Um, but this is what it looks like swatched. It's really, really pretty, really shiny, and it just looks so gorgeous on top of bronzer. Like, I'll wear it sort of in between my contour and my blush and then just kind of on my temples and this just looks gorgeous I got this at Target and I had never tried anything from the Soap and Glory um, brand but this really reminded me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick it's like similar colors it's just in a wheel form um, and with that I feel like I would just be rubbing them all together anyway so this was kind of the same thing 
Um, and I don't know, it's just really gorgeous. It has this nice mirror, which is really nice. It's kind of pricey for drugstore. This was like $15. Um, but honestly, if you get use out of it, then I think it's a good product. And if it's a dupe for the Bobbi Brown, which is like $40, then you definitely are saving some money here. So I've been really liking this. Oh, and this is in the shade Sundays. I know they have like a peachy one. Um, but this is the one I've been really like liking. It just makes you look really sun-kissed. And it says on here, Supernatural Sun Kiss Shimmer Brick. And I totally agree. It just makes you look sun kissed and shimmery and really pretty. This would also be really pretty, like, on the collarbone, maybe. Um, so I've been really loving this. Okay, I felt like I had to mention a lip product. I didn't have one that, like, I got in February that was new and, you know, had been trying out or whatever. But this is something that I got a couple of months ago. And I've just been wearing it a lot in the month of February. Um, and this is the NYX Plump It Up Lip uh, lip plumper. It's a lip gloss. This is in the shade Angelina. This was the only shade that I really liked, to be honest. I'm going to put it on now. Okay, that's what it looks like on. It's just really, really shiny. It's very, it's, it's like the tiniest bit sticky, but not enough to bother me, and I do not like sticky lip glosses, so it lasts like a little bit long. This is really good by itself. It doesn't pair that well on top of lipsticks, but that's the way I like it because that's where you feel the tingle for the plumpiness. I feel like my lips don't need a ton of plumping because they're big enough, but um, they, I don't know, it just makes my lips look really shiny and I just really love the tingle that it gives. Um, and again, it's a really pretty color in the shade Angelina. And I've been obsessed with that song by The Weeknd, Party Monster, where he's like, lips like Angelina. So this makes me think of it and I really, really like this lip gloss. It's only like $6.00. So it's nice, and I know that the Too Faced Lip Injections, I've been wanting to try those out, but I hear that that makes your lips feel like they're on fire. <laughs> um, so I don't know, maybe I'll try it, but if you'd like a lip gloss that makes your lips feel a little bit plump, but they're not on fire, and it's like $6, then I would suggest this. Alright, and the last makeup favorite I have for the month is this. <laughs> Everyone knows what it is, the Laura Mercier Translucent powder. It's a loose setting powder. This is just the travel size because I wanted to try it out and I hadn't ever tried it. I've only heard about it on YouTube. Um, this is amazing. This is hands down. I've tried so many powders because I am. I do have oily skin. Um, so I've tried every powder on the sun, especially drugstore powders, and I can never find one that I like. There's not even one that I can like tolerate. I feel like every drugstore loose powder I've tried, I'm like, oh, I can't wait until I'm done with this so I can go and buy a new one and try a different brand. So I bit the bullet. I had never bought a high-end loose setting powder because I didn't think, like, it's just powder. It's all the same, you know? But it's really not. Everything gives me flashback. Everything just looks like, you can just see it. I feel like with all the drugstore powders that I tried, like the Maybelline, the NYX, everything, like the loose setting powders, you can just see the white on my skin, especially in photos. They have terrible, terrible flashback. And I know that it has to do with the ingredients um, because I, I've got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD sample, like the little one that they had given me for like 100 points or something. Um, and I tried that and it makes my skin look okay, but it's just, it still wasn't good. So I was like, all right, this is the one that I hear everybody talking about. I have to try it out. So I tried the little size and it is amazing. I feel like I can't switch now because I don't want, ah, because I feel like I can't switch now because I don't want to go back to those gross setting powders that were leaving me with a white cast and everything. So this does not leave a white cast on me at least. Um, I bake it pretty much under my eyes every single day and it really does help with the creasing. I have really bad creasing too under my eyes from the oily skin and smile lines and all that. So I really, really, really love this. I think it's definitely worth the hype. Um, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and buy the $38 full size once I finish this one, but I think it will last me a while, that's what I've heard. So I'm excited. This product is amazing. Definitely worth the hype. Alright, next I'm going to talk about a couple of hair favorites. I actually just got my hair done. I got it um, like an ombre a couple weeks ago. It was like the week after Valentine's Day. Um, so my hairdresser just kind of lightened up the bottoms and then at the top is like my natural super dark color, but um, I think it looks really good. And then today I went to Dry Bar, um, the one closest to me, and she just gave me the Mai Tai, which is like the loose beachy waves, and I think it came out really, really nice. So thank you to Sandra, my hairdresser, and to the girl at Dry Bar. I don't even know her name, but she did a really, really nice job. So I've been loving to treat myself with hair 
you know, getting my hair done, getting it cut, getting it highlighted, getting it blow dried and all that. So I've been wanting to treat my hair nicely and I'm getting some nice drugstore products that actually work really well. I do have kind of fussy hair because it is oily at the top and then dry at the ends because it's so long. So a couple of things that I've been loving this month. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Dry Shampoo is another thing where I don't want to bite the bullet and get a high-end uh, dry shampoo because I don't want to spend $30 on dry shampoo and I go through these things like in a month. And I'm like, why would I spend $30 when there are like 10 brands at the drugstore that are like $10 or less? So Batiste, I've tried pretty much every dry shampoo at the drugstore and they're all okay, nothing great. Some of them have, were better than others. Some of them left white, but they weren't sticky. Some of them were super sticky and made my hair feel gross to touch, but then they didn't leave the white. Batiste is sort of the best of both worlds. It's as close as I can get. It leaves a little bit of white, but when I kind of rub it through, it kind of goes away and fades throughout the day. It definitely doesn't leave my hair feeling sticky. It smells really good. Um, so, yeah, there's probably better if I tried some of the higher-end ones, but I don't want to because I use this so often, and I think the Batiste has just been really helping me out throughout the past month. This one is the blush, um, like, scent, and it's really nice. So maybe if I try the brunette, um dry shampoo that might help me out a little bit. I know they have a, a brunette version. Um, but for now, I really do like this product and I think for the price, it's the best one at the drugstore that I've found. All right, this is another product that's new to me. I had been wanting an oil serum for the ends of my hair because I'll wake up in the morning and my hair is like, like super frizzy, but um, I can't brush it. If girls with curly hair know you can't brush out the frizz or it's just gonna get even worse with curls. And um, I also can't really like, straighten it in the morning. I don't have time. It's way too thick, way too curly. It just, it takes me at least like an hour to straighten my hair. Can't really curl it. So something that I've been wanting to do is just put some oil at the ends to kind of tame the frizz or maybe if, if I'm going to put it up in a ponytail, I can just kind of run the oil down the ponytail. So this is the L'Oreal Extraordinary, Extraordinary Oil Lustrous Oil Serum. This is a leave-in, and it says it's for instant shine and silky touch, lightweight, not greasy, for dry, lifeless hair. So my hair's not really lifeless, but it is dry at the bottom, so I stick this only at the ends, and I feel like it does a really good job of leaving my hair feeling shiny and pretty. It doesn't last, like, all day and make my hair look like a Pantene commercial or something or a L'Oreal commercial, but it does its job, and I think for the price, this was like 5 or $6. Um, it's going to last me a really long time, and um, I think it's just a really nice product for the price. And the last hair product is something the cap fell off, but I know I haven't talked about this before on my channel. This is the Jesse James Decker Bless Your Hair Honeydew Hair Perfume by Fay4. Excuse the cap. The cap fell off this week and rolled somewhere in my room and I can't find it anywhere. But anyway, this is um, in the scent Honeydew, if I didn't say that already. This is just a hair perfume, so you just spray it in your hair. Usually a little bit goes a long way, so spray it like once or twice max and that's good or the whole world is going to be smelling you. Um, this one smells a little bit perfumey, so I kind of want to try a different scent because this one is just really, really strong, but it smells delicious and what I've noticed this is kind of expensive, it's like $30 for this little thing, but first of all, I've had it since like April, and I use it at least once a week, and it's only that much is gone, so it does last you a long time. Oh, this one, the notes are vanilla, jasmine, and sandalwood, so I do love all those scents, I don't know why, this one is just really, really strong, but um, I just love this, and what I love, I swear, every single time I wear it, I swear someone compliments me. I had a random old man the other day, not being like not creepy, he was reaching over to grab something that was kind of close to me and he was like, you smell so good. And I was like, thank you. And I knew it was because of this because I don't like, I won't wear perfume and this at the same time because it will just be too much. So I knew it was this and I, I swear like not just girls, not just, like everybody, like old people will tell me I smell so good. And um, it's because of this. It does, it smells really good um, and it lasts a long time. That's probably why it's so strong. It lasts a long time in the hair um, and I'll just kind of take it and like maybe flip my hair upside down and kind of go like that. And yeah, so I, I want to try some of the other scents, but um, this makes a great gift as well. I've bought this for a couple friends, um, and I just really love this. I love Jessie James Decker and all her stuff. I wish my purse was stolen last month, and I bought the lip kit. I bought the bullet, and I really, really had been wanting it. It was $45 plus shipping. It was so expensive. And then my purse got stolen, so I was really, really upset because I had so many... All my favorite lipsticks were in there. I had like five lipsticks, and they were all my favorite. So I was really upset. 
about that. So Jesse James Decker, if you're watching this, I love your products. Please send me a new lipstick from your lip kit because I, I left the lip liner at home, thankfully, but you can't buy them separate and I am not going to spend another $45 on that. I'm not going to spend $90 on a lipstick. So, um, but yeah, I have been loving this this month. All right. And the last two things I have are fashion items. So the first is this, if you recognize the case, is that Ray-Bans? I got these um, a little bit after Christmas. They're the pink ones. I'm gonna wear these from while I'm talking about them. They're the pink mirrored, like polarized um, sunglasses. They're kind of round, but sort of like an octagon shape. Um, they're not completely round because I feel like the completely circle ones it look weird on my face because my face is kind of an oval, very oval shape. So I've just been really loving these. I think they look really cool, especially for the summer. I have um, the pair of black aviators that I love, and I just wanted one that was like funky and cool and something different that I could try maybe with like a black outfit rather than the black goes more with like anything, and these kind of, you have to wear them with more neutral outfits because they're like a pop. So I've been really loving these, and plus I've been wanting mirrored sunglasses. Um, my aviators aren't mirrored. And I think they just look really cool. I had gotten a gift card to Macy's for Christmas, so I had been really wanting these sunglasses, so I used that towards these. Um, and I've just been loving them ever since. I think they're going to look really awesome in the summer. So that's mainly why I bought them. I'm going on vacation in a couple of months, so they will look really pretty there. Um, and yeah, I've just been, just been loving these. And my last favorite of the month are these shoes. <laughs> they're boots. Um, these are by Crown vintage um and there's like just these little booties they're kind of like an olivey gray suede kind of color like olive gray if that makes sense um they're just so cute and i've been i i have the steve madden edit booties and they're so cute but they are so unbearably uncomfortable i don't know about anybody else i've heard people rave about those shoes and i love them because they're beautiful but i can't i can barely walk literally i can only wear them if i know i'm going somewhere i'm going to be sitting most of the time like out to dinner i wore them on new year's eve that was a mistake <laughs> my feet were killing me because i was at a party and standing around um and they were just killing me so um i usually only wear them when i know i'm going to sit down so i wanted a pair of cute little booties that i could wear to work i could wear out dress up dress down that had a heel because i am so short um but that weren't going to kill my feet so i got these um i was between these and a pair by carlos santana because i love his shoes um but these just looked cuter and what i liked is they came up higher than the carlos santana so i could wear socks um because i wear socks all the time even when i'm sleeping in the summer like socks all the time because my feet are always freezing so i've just been loving these i think they look super cute for february and then for march and for the spring to come they're gonna look cute with dresses and with shorts and you know so i've just been loving these they are a little bit clacky like my some other shoes like my mom has a pair of sorrels i think they're called and when she walked the heels like this but when she walks it's like silent but with these, they're a little bit, they sound like you're wearing high heels, which if that bothers you, then you might not like these, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking these. They're casual enough to dress down, but then also nice enough with the heel that you can dress them up. All right, that is it for my February favorites. I hope you all had a wonderful month and you have a happy March as well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!